All right, the second string about to get underway, and the man that concluded our first string is on the line, lane three, Brian Fuller. Brian had a 120 in his first string. And he gets the break he needed. This leaves the 6-10, two pieces of wood. Seems like either one would be playable. Yes. He starts off this string the way he started out with the first, with a spare. Let's see if he can get a better fill than he got the first time out. Get a half whister his first time. He's on the head pin again, a little thin. Leaves the left diamond and the seventh pin. Slip by the object that time. Ten box for Brian, twenty five after two. It's got to be a good feeling starting the match with a mark, so at least you know you're putting a little bit of pressure on the guy who's bowling right now. I don't think pressure means anything to Jonathan Boudreau. It's just another day in the office for him. You know, when you're averaging 130, you can make up a lot of ground in a hurry. He's got some ugliness right now. 1, 4, 7, 9, 10. A little heavy on the head. We mentioned that quick work. Quick pace. Garnish him an eight box. To start out the second string. Jonathan looking to become an English teacher. He's a double major in education and English. And he's interested in keeping track of all his statistics. Even in the early going in his his bowling career and that says a lot about his uh, dedication to the sport already and it's uh, I think it's shown here he knows how to play just about every shot his confidence on the lane can't be questioned a pair of eights to begin for him in the second string and Brian is back up Brian's lead right now, 13. A little heavy that time. Nine. Oh, I'm talking about total. Oh, total lead. Aha. I'm doing math in my head. Oh, boy. I thought you were talking yes. about this no. string. I'm a product of public school education. That makes both of us. Let's see if we can make a split. Ooh. Oh, we made it. 2-6 is not a conventional leave. It is not. Not one you like to look at, that's for sure. I think he tried to make that twice. <laughs> 33 after 3. Brian missed the head pin that time, he's going to punch it. As we mentioned in the introduction, Brian is living in Newbury, Pet, uh, Massachusetts, Newburyport, excuse me, Massachusetts. Thin that time. Brian's worked for Hyman's as a salesman. He's been there for most of his adult life. Disappointing seven box that time. He had a slow start the first string, but as we saw, Brian can rally back. I hope those pins don't come into play. There's a lot of, mm -hmm. left a lot of men standing there in right. those last four boxes. We talked about that earlier. Jonathan on the head pin. Mm. Can't break up that split. 247 on the left, six pin on the right. No wood to help. He's on the object. Mm. A little full though. I think that's 90% of this game. If you have the experience and the timing and the concentration to be on that object pin, that's all you can ask. Because you 
always give yourself a chance. Yeah, as long as you hit your objects, I consider that a good day. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Even if I don't score, as long as I'm putting the ball where I want it to go, then I, I have to be pretty happy about it. Buries the one two pocket. The ball there. Strike in the fourth. That was uh, a no doubter. You're not going to find too many cheapies between these two guys. First mark for Jonathan in this second string. Brian just slid by that head pin. These four horsemen are right. Hmm. Not this time. We use the ten pin. Right in the face. Ten bucks. Fifty pounds. Leaves the four horsemen again. Looks like the first time he put it right where he wanted to and just didn't have that 10 pin carry. Wow. Both of these guys had played the four horsemen right where you wanted. Fifty-nine after six for Brian. Boudreaux's back up, working on a strike in the fourth. 35 plus two balls. First bonus ball. He's on the head pin. Thin hit. And he leaves almost the back row. He does carry the eight, seven, and the eight. Looks like that went from bad to worse. Uh, the nine and ten. He doesn't look too excited at these prospects, and Brian's talking to him about it. Uh, well, he does the best he can nine. with that and gets a nine fill out of it. That looked good coming in, too, but very thin. Nine bucks. 53. Yes. After five. Box is completed. It's a one pin match. Not a bad leave considering he was off the head pin there. I think that wood's going to line him up pretty well. A little worried about that nine pin. What do you think? That's the, that's the tough one. That's the one you hope goes when you hit that pocket and it went. Spare in the sixth. Nice shot by Jonathan right there. So after after six here in our second string, <laughs> Jonathan with the ball to be thrown is 63 and Brian's at 59. Brian is looking at a triangle left, 245. What do you think about that wood though? Well it looks like it leaned up and it is touching. The two pin. Carry that four. Yes. Yeah, there you go. I think I myself would have played that a little bit more right at the two pin. Mm. Seemed like anywhere left of the red line was going to be good for mm. him. Brian went Brooklyn that time. Those are six. But he's looking at a split. Let's see if he can cut it over. He went outside that time and tried to get some action. Move over and get that four pin. Brian's at 85 after eight, but as we said, Jonathan working on the spare here in the six, 63 with a ball. Very tight match. Very nice. Single, single pins. Mm-hmm. Bonus. Oh, on the head pin again. Mm. Tough leave. Leaves the 5-7. He's 
capable, though. He is very capable. He takes the lead in the match, too. Oh, what a bid. Takes care of it for a 10. In completed frames, he's got the lead by two pins in the match overall, six in the string. And as uh, I mentioned in the introduction, he is the owner of the high 10 for this house, 1399 in a day which featured back-to-back -back 170 strings. I don't even think I can hit 170 for three at this point. What do you think about this I've lead? I've only done that a handful of times. Mm -hmm. He needed that object pin, which was the three, and he slid by. But he's pinning. He maintains that lead over Brian. 91.85. In second string, which means he's got a two pin lead in this match so far. Buries it in the pocket, 4 7. Right in the 1 3. He's got a nice piece of wood. Looks like it's touching the four pin. Pretty much any part of that wood should be good. And it goes. Shot by. You like to have shots like that all day to kind of get you going when the marks are hard to come by. And these guys are getting some leaves that are not conventional. Bonus. It's so on the head pin, another eight drop. Brian was a little light that time. But he's got a two pinner to look at. He's 103 after nine. He should have this one. Nice shot. Brian Wood had a little reverse hook on the ball. I guess throw that backup ball, ball breaking from left to right. Whoa. Wow. I gotta fix that. So he ends this string with spare eight, spare six. He's 119 at 239 after two. He's consistent that if nothing else. Mm. Let's see how Jonathan finishes the second another. string. Another ugly leave. 5-7-9. Mm. Remember he was 5-7 the last time he was on lane 3, so... And that isn't the worst piece of wood. I like it better that he's a lefty. Yeah. If he hit it right, yeah, right near the cap, I would think it was one. Yes! And he proves us wrong, but it still looks good. Well, it looks good on paper. It's still a triangle. I mean, you hit 13.99 here. You can do whatever you want, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> Let's see how he finishes here. Fills the spare in the ninth. That's his third string. Or excuse me, his third mark here in the second string. Mm, looks like a five. Four horsemen, right? Plus the seven pin, he's 106 after nine. One pin match, box is completed, but again, he's a, opposite Brian's spare six. And he's heavy on that head pin. Gonna be a hell of a finish here, this third string. Absolutely. It's lining up to be really good. John finished up with a nine. 115 for the string. So after two, Brian Fuller has a eight pin advantage, leading 239 to Jonathan Boudreaux's 231. And we'll be back in a moment with the conclusion of this match in our third string.